Good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and very, very welcome guests. The topic of my speech today is the truth behind the secret based on the study of the human brain. So let me start by asking you a question. How many of you have read the book The Secret? Great. And for those of you who have read the book, how many of you can actually say that you have indeed found the secret to success? Well, the book The Secret was released in 2006 and the movie The Secret was released seven months prior to the book. This book gained so much recognition and was in such high demand that it sold 19 million copies worldwide and was translated into 46 different languages. Rhonda Byrne, the author, actually based the book on another book which was written by Wallace Wattles and was called The Science of Getting Rich. The book The Secret is based on three very simple principles. Ask, believe and receive. But given the great popularity of this book, finally it received an equal amount of criticism. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, just like anyone else out there, I had a dream. I wanted to succeed in life. I wanted to make a success of my life. I dreamt of helping hundreds of people, children, the aged, the youth, the disabled, women in need, the poor, the sick. And I wanted to do this in the biggest way possible. It's what my heart cried out for. But I knew that I couldn't do this if I wasn't successful enough myself. And I had three very important questions that I needed to find answers to. Number one was how does a man succeed? Why do we procrastinate or become complacent in life? And more importantly, at least in my case, I wanted to know why does poverty hold us down? So I started this research this subject and to look for these answers. I first found out that there are four types of people. The how, what, when and why. I fell into the how category. I always wanted to know how things work from within. And I recall studying neuro-linguistic programming, many of you call NLP. And I did my practitioners, masters, trainers training, all of it. And I asked my trainer one day, this is fabulous. It helps to get rid of fears and phobias and helps us to think more positively. But I'm in search for something bigger than that. I want to know how this happens internally. And he said, Jill, this will take a more detailed explanation. I will pick this up with you some other time. But of course, that other time never ever came. So I bought loads of self-help books, dozens and dozens and dozens of them. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I also bought these manuals. As you can see, they are called Mastering the Law of Attraction. And as you can also see, each manual has approximately 3,000 pages. I have seven of these manuals. And I have studied every word, every line, completed every exercise, and did everything asked of me. But I have to admit that I still didn't find the secret to success. So, I then began to turn my attention to the system on which we operate. So we as human beings, obviously, we operate on a system called the human brain that weighs 1400 grams, which is the equivalent to one and a half bags of sugar and consists of about 75 to 80 percent water. As a Christian, I was brought up to believe that God has created us in his own image. And I have to say that I honestly 100% believe in that. Why? Because 99% of our mental faculties are alike in every way. I can honestly tell you that our lives are is nothing but a group of neurons. We are a sum total of neurons. The three principles, in my opinion, that lead to the truth behind the secret to our success is the way in which we think and how we choose our thoughts. The focus that we give to the things that matter most to us in life and to our goals and the power of repetition. So thinking, focusing and repeating. I'm going to explain this process to you as simply as I can. So when we have a thought that enters our brains, our brain does not understand the difference between right or wrong or good and bad. As Shakespeare put it only too well when he said, there is nothing right and nothing wrong. It's our thinking that makes it so. So our brains are like a light bulb. You put that switch on, and it doesn't care whether the bulb is white, red or green. Those thoughts turn into groups of neurons. Now, how many neurons do we have in our brains? We have a hundred billion neurons. So let's try and make that simple for you. If we were to equate every neuron to one second, we would get to a total of eight years and three months. So you imagine counting neurons for every second for eight years and three months. Those neurons form neurological connections. Now, how many neurological connections do we have in our brains? We have more connections than all the grains of sand in the entire world. Can you imagine that? That is how many neurological connections we have 
in our brains. These connections form neurological pathways and these pathways are the pathways to success or destruction. So how do we create these pathways? By thinking and choosing the right kind of thoughts. So we are hit every second by 4 billion bits of information. How does our brain decide? How much information do we accept and how much of this information do we reject? Because as you may be wondering, our brain only has the capacity to accept 2,000 billion, uh, 2,000 bits of this information. So, from 4 billion bits, if we can only accept 2,000 bits, it has to reject majority of that information. So, for example, if you've had a quarrel with somebody you are very emotionally attached to, you will notice that you will focus on just that because it's troubling you. Or if you have to get a job done, you will focus and get that job done. Have you ever wondered that sometimes when you've had a bad day and you've had a quarrel with someone, you've got home, Maybe by then everything, all the issues are solved, but you've had this thought that you hadn't really got much work done that day. That's because you have the power of choosing your thoughts. You choose those 2000 bits and the rest is rejected. So, for example, when you choose these thoughts and these neurological connections are formed, then we need to ask ourselves how many times we do that task. So, it's like taking a, a wall and every day or every second we take a spade of cement and we plaster that wall with cement. And slowly, over time, the wall becomes smooth and lovely. Similarly, every thought, right, wrong or indifferent, our neurology takes that in, forms these neurological connections, which in turn form neurological pathways. And you have, as I said, so many connections in your brain that they are equivalent to more than all the grains of sand in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with this research and I would like you to form your own opinions on the truth behind the secret and to remember just three principles. The power of choice and how we choose our thoughts, the power of focus and the power of repetition. There are three people who actually use quotes that basically sum this up really well. And all these three people, by the way, are called James. So James Allen said, we think in secret and it comes to pass. Our world is but a looking glass, meaning that our thoughts do become things and that is why we need to choose them 
very carefully. James Redfield said, energy flows where our attention goes. So whatever we are focused on, we get more of that. And James Wooden said, that repetition is key to our success. That is what creates world-class athletes, world-class musicians. And anyone who has been really and truly successful in life. If you read the book, The 10,000 Hour Rule by Malcolm Gladwell, he talks about how if we do something for 10,000 hours repeatedly, we become masters of whatever it is we are repeating or whatever it is we wish to succeed in. I'd like to ask you to take a moment to think about this and to understand how easy it is to do if we can only practice this. Develop these skills and change our lives. Thank you very much for your time.